Hi all, welcome to ESI Cloud Trainings. My name is Shalini Nerella. So let's get started with Dell Bumi Atmosphere basic training day two session. The agenda plan for today is we'll try to connect to FTP server using Bumi. We'll be using FileZilla server and client in our session. So we'll then do a simple integration. We'll try to fetch XML files from FTP server. We'll then convert them into CSV data and load them into disk. We shall also use few logics like string concat, etc. So we'll be making use of map shape, Bumi suggest, combined documents, etc. And we'll also set the same file name as in source to the destination file. Okay, so let's get started. So first get first let's create a folder day two. Okay. And we'll then have to create a process. So create new component and process, and I'll name this as FTP2 disk integration. So, so earlier we have used no data in our start shape in day one session. In today's session we'll use connector in the start shape. So I'll be selecting FTP. And remember action will be only get if it is start shape. And if it is anywhere in the middle of the components, you'll be having get and send. A usually asked certification question. Okay. So now we'll try to create the connection. So in order to create the connection, I'll need to know host, port, username, password, etc. Right. So now first I'll install FileZilla server and client in my system. So this is the FileZilla server. Yes. Next, 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 install. Installation is done. Now I'll do two basic settings for this. So we'll have to go to edit, say user. Under user, we have ESI user. So first I'll remove this and I'll add, say, ESI user. And I'll give a password to this. And now we'll have to have a shared folder. So I'll add where my files are present. So I'll go to C demo files in folder. Under in folder, I have my files. So we have made this as a shared folder. Now you can click on OK. So this is done. So now our server configuration is done. Now I'll have to install my client. So yes. Next, next, next. So your FileZilla client is installed. So this is how your FileZilla looks like so now you can provide the host so i'll just say local host here because that is there in my system the server is in my system user of what i've created yes i user password and say quick connect so you can either save passwords so you see here so this has been connected so this is where it is connected and it shows the files here in the FTP server. So now we'll try to connect using Boomi to this FTP server and fetch these files out first. Okay, so go back. Now give this connection details here. So I'll say local host port 21 connection modes will have active and passive. So this is what the administrator will tell you what to select. But in our uh, end of the session, we'll be discussing about what active is, what passive is in more detail. And username. password. 
Also, if you see here SSL options, so you can select SSL options. We have explicit, implicit. You can also use client SSL authorization. So this also depends upon how the server is configured. We'll discuss all this in detail at the end of the session in our presentation slides. Okay. So now save and close. We'll and then have a new operation. So now a remote directory. So what will be our remote directory here? So if you go here, see this. This is our remote directory. So may, in few cases, it will be selected only till C fi, uh, demo files and in folder will not be shared. In that case, you'll be having in here. So this will be our remote directory. Yes. File filter. If you want to fetch all the files, say file filter star, then you will be having all files fetched. Transfer type, we have binary ASCII. And maximum files to read, same as uh, in disk. So if you say zero, all files will be retrieved. Right? And we have something called archiving here. So if you want to archive the data that is coming from FTP, you can just check this. And this is tracking caching. We'll be discussing in detail about this in our later sessions. Okay. So now we have configured our operations, say save and close. Right? So now we'll first test this. So whenever you're starting a project, first configure your endpoints. It's important for you to configure your endpoints first. So let's test this. So remember again, because FTP is within the firewall, you need to have a local atom installed in that particular server. Now, as you see, we have three files. So you remember what we have done here? We have C demo files in folder. We have shared this in the FTP server. So there are three files here. And so we are able to fetch three files. And if you see here, in if you click on connection data, you'll be able to see account1.xml, account2.xml, account3.xml. So this gives you the files out and you can also view the files. So as told, these are the component logs. And when you click on here and see log here, this is called process log. This gives you the complete detail of the process and these are specific to each component. Right. So now we have files out of FTP and we'll now try to move the files from FTP to disk. Right. So now my source is configured. Next, I'll have to configure my target. So I'll be using this connector here. Okay. So now, because I'm sending the data, my action will be sent. Right. And connection. So connection, you remember we earlier have configured in our day one session. So we'll make use of the same disk connection. Okay. And operation. So operation, I'll have to select. I have to create. Create directory if it doesn't exist. So if you check this, if the directory doesn't exist, it will create for you. And this is file naming options. So create unique file name if it exists. Overwrite if file exists. Append if file exists. Append if file exists. Error if file exists. So you can uh, check any of these options. So if you have the file name already existing, it will overwrite. If you have the same file name again, it will append the data to it. And if a file exists, it will error the process out. Save, save and close. Disk is configured. So now in my disk connection, it was pointing to in folder right so now i want these files in my out folder so remember this if i'm modifying this the other process as well gets affected because it is we have copied that from the day one folder right so i'll create a new connection here out this connection so i have files in so now you see out folder is empty 
So I'll create the 